What do we have here? Well, it sure looks like some kind of fancy carbon fibery, riot made high end Chinese production knife that cost three hundred and fifty dollars. But no, it's not. It's a Tucson. This thing was like, I don't know, ninety five dollars. It was under a hundred bucks. I mean, you probably might cost more than a hundred some days, depending on where you're getting it from. But if you look around a little bit, try to find a deal. It's going to be like, you know, 90, 100 bucks, somewhere in there. Maybe less. This thing is just terrific, man. Uh, Tucson can be hit or miss. We all know this. Like you get one and sometimes it's good. And then sometimes you thought it was good, but the freaking blade hits the damn backspacer. Or the pocket clip uh, uh, doesn't work at all and it catches on your pocket. Uh, or something, you know, something's wrong. This thing just checks all the boxes. It's just great. Um, pocket clip, I haven't done much to. I just polished it. That's it. So I didn't really change it. I didn't make it any better in any other way. Just polished it. That's Later, I anodized that clip with the help of uh, Melvin Lozado, a uh, custom knife maker, and it turned out great. That everything else is exactly the way it came. I may have uh, loctited the bolt. They always come loose. Every knife does. You know that. The detent is perfect. I can thumb open it. I can reverse flick it. We can uh, front flip it like it's supposed to. It's really one of the best front flippers I've ever messed with. Boy, if it had a damn flipper too, it would have like 78 different uh, opening options. Really just great, man. Great feel in the hand. It's literally hand melting air goes too. Just great. Look at that, uh, it's got what, the, I don't know if they call it micro milling or whatever on the uh, titanium there. Looks really good. It's not that real dusty look, uh, bead blast look that they sometimes do. Look at that carbon fiber, man. That is just good looking carbon fiber. Just good stuff. Who makes this? Who, or who designed it? It was uh, the Jelly Jerry. That's right. Jelly Jerry design. Great stuff from him. Love this. Really nice choil there. And then a little secondary one. Uh, you know, could you say that the blade is a bit on the pointy side? You could, but shit, man. I don't know. That just seems like it makes it kind of more useful. Uh, the downside is you drop it on that tip, it's going to pretty much destroy it down to probably here so you got to be a little careful with it oops that was a flub i can really uh front flip this one fairly well and i suck at front flipping so you know the fact that i can do it means it's really really uh friendly to, to use i guess they call this a bolster lock i think uh, because the the lock bar is kind of behind some kind of a plate or you know insert so in this case it's this carbon fiber and the lock bar is mostly behind it a little bit showing backspacer looks great boy all the corners are all chamfered right you know i did a lot of knives i have to kind of roll the edges a little bit with a sander or something because they're just too sharp on the edges or whatever this one just perfect i love how the blade cut out there the thumb hole fits into that little space there just looks really nicely uh thought out well thought out the choil could be the uh, sharpening choil could be a bit better it ends right there i think your first sharpening you're probably going to see a little bit of that where it kind of runs up on there I call it a smile whatever but that wouldn't be too hard to fix uh yeah so there's no stop pin back here to prevent you from cutting that choil in a little deeper if you want to. So easy peasy. Uh, if you get one and it's a bother to you, I'll do it for you for like, I don't know, 10 bucks or something. Easy. This one's really great. The action is great. The uh, feel of it is great. Great sound. Just all around terrific knife. I mean, I can't even uh, 
Uh, Tucson, congrats on this one. Amazing job. I can't really say much else other than just buy one. It's really amazing. I mean, if you don't like that style, that'd be the only reason not to buy it. Uh, it's a beautiful knife. Tucson TS215. Get one. Have a nice day.